Now we will go over what actions to take if a drill and break is encountered. As you can see right here, we are drilling along at 81 ROP. A drill and breaks any drastic change. As you can see here, we went from 81 all the way to 200 and that increasing. So proper actions to take. We pick up, we turn our rotary off, make sure you close the button, and we pick up the top drive and we space out. Proper space out on the simulator is a tool joint between these two red lines by the slips. Once you are there, turn your pump off. Hit the close button. If you go to the far right, you'll see two little tanks. If you click on the box, it'll take you to the pit lineup. As you can see here, our returns are coming from the flow line across to the active pit. Down below that, there's the trip tank. We want to line up to the trip tank. So we always open before we close. We want to open the valve to the trip tank and then we'll close the valve to the active. And then next, we want to turn our pump on. So to the left of the trip tank is a box that says pump, turn it on. If you're lined up correctly and there's no flow coming from the well, your flow meter will read 75%. Now there's two places you can read the trip tank volume. You can just read it right here on this page or you can go back to your drill floor graphics page. Right here where it says return flow there's a little box that shows TT and stripping tank. If you click on it it'll show you your trip tank is at eight barrels. We're going to watch it for about two to three minutes. If the flow check is negative we go back to drilling. We go back to our trip tank. We turn off the pump. And remember, we have to open before we close. So we want to open to the active system and then close to the trip tank. Once it's lined up correctly, we go back drilling. We can turn back on our pump and it will zoom back at 70 strokes per minute. And then we can turn back on our TDS. It'll go back to 120 RPM. And then we lower back down and go back drilling. 